the fake cop inaccuracy is kind of one of the main reasons why I feel like the film feels very self, like, you know, self-congratulatory about the way that it's depicting queer people. Because what happens in the film is that a man who actually doesn't seem to be a homophobe, but just wants to stamp out a Soviet spy accidentally finds out Turing is gay. And then that leads to the trial and the, uh, you know, situation with Turing and his sentencing. What actually happens is that Turing reports that uh, someone who was affiliated with a sexual partner of his uh, had burgled his house. And during the police investigation, Turing has to disclose that he is having a sexual relationship with another man. Uh, the police then just, you know, charge him. And that's where his sentencing begins. So if the actual story would have been told, you would have had a much more real account of how brutal and unfair the police system was. Whereas in this version of the story, it seems as if like, you know, the law just happens against everybody's will. And actually the police were like good guys that didn't want to, uh, uh, didn't want to charge Turing. Such a, fake fantastical uh, idea that britain was so much more progressive and it's just its laws unfortunately that no one knows where they came from but the people that lived under them were actually so peaceful and tolerant like it makes no sense i think that that happens in a lot of movies where there are marginalized communities being portrayed um because it's it's just ignoring things and putting it back onto an individual level so that you can say oh i'm a good person I'm not going to do that. So this seems pretty unlikely. But the truth is that there are systems in place that allow for these things to happen every day. And it's it's so frustrating <laughs> because, you know, like uh, people want to know the truth. They want to know what really happened. They want to know who these people really are. And that when we continue to sensationalize things through Hollywood, um, that it just kind of adds to that misinformation. I think that because, uh, you know, you and I were talking about class consciousness and that like it's very important to both of us. Um, but I think that that is kind of like a way to keep us away from that consciousness, because then it's just put back onto the individual rather than examining these systems um, that perpetuate oppression yeah that's that's such a good point you really hit the nail on the head because like the the story sort of uh, uh absolves the cop or absolves the 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 police as like an acting force that's doing something actually quite brutal to alan uh, and instead tries to sort of anonymize and 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 point a finger at this like weird thing that no one knows where it came from but it's actually just again the police enforcing said law 